Down with Rick. What's up? Everything is good, man. Everything Welcome, is good. Welcome, huh? Thank you, thank you. Back for a couple days? We are back for about a week and a half, you know, just chill out, see the family, kick yeah. my feet up a little bit, you know. And your family has been very involved watching you play on the other side of the world. Yeah, yeah, you know, they've been messaging me saying, you know, I've been keeping them up at night type of thing, so. Mm -hmm. That's positive, you know, you see they're following me and all that there, you know, so. Just 19 to years on. old, you've already, you know, some of us have India on our bucket list of places that we eventually want to travel, but you got to travel for cricket. Yeah, you know? definitely, you know, and I, when I got there, you know, it was like definitely a country that had to grow on me. Right. You know, but as, as I as I got into the tour, I was like, yeah, I definitely recommend it to a, to a few people, like, yeah, you know, you a nice country to, to see and, and experience. I was going to ask you about the culture and stuff like that. Was it a big, obviously a big difference from, from what you get here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, you know, the main thing, obviously, the food. Um, mm. you, know, you know, obviously the curry and all that. We had a lot of that. Um, um, yeah, that's about it, really. You know, just we got to go out and see see some of the stuff, some of the days. You know, the gateway of India, Mumbai, and those sorts of things. But you know, rest days it was just a little kicking back and right. you know, again your recovery time. But yeah, we got to see a little bit of it, which was good. Too. People were friendly and stuff like that. Yeah, people were real nice. You know, we weren't really expecting them to be that nice. If I'm honest. Right. But, you know, they were very nice, you know, he said hi, they said hi, and you know, the people looked after you really well. So. Cool. How long have you been playing cricket, you know, from from you? From, like, from what really brought you young. into the sport? You know, it's just, you know, it's funny you said that, I was just talking to my family yesterday and it was bringing back members from when I was four, three, four, that I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. um, um, so yeah, real young, you know, I've been playing, but competitively I started playing at about seven before it. Um, um, and I was still playing football at the time then. Um, football was what I wanted to do, really. Right, football. My mom and dad, you know, just went away and cricket started to grow on me a bit more. You know, it grew on me before I left. Yeah. My mom, but then as I as I was away, it grew on me a lot more, so. A cup match. Just, just came, you know, a cup match came around. You, you know, you went to cup match a lot as a young person? Yeah, every cup match. I think I probably would have missed one because um, I was away, but every cup match I was there, you know, St. George's through and through, so. Right. Support the boys. So you've always been on St. George's fan, and then you end up playing for the team in always, 2014. You know, always been a fan, always a dream to play cup match. Right. And then, you know, got the opportunity in 2014 and showcased my skills a little bit, you know. And you played in one cup match that was uh, up in some Somerset. Somerset, yeah. And I think the first innings you were, you were not out. Yeah. And then the second innings, you had two runs and then just, uh, who caught you out? Jacan. Jacan. Oh, Jordan, yeah. yeah. It was nice though that it's funny, like the second innings I was more nervous than the first. Right. You know? First innings yeah, was that's... a little bit less pressure on me. So. Yeah, the second innings you were more nervous. The second innings I was more nervous, you know. Mm. But it was no, it was good to play. Definitely, you know, not too many people get to play and to play just so young was nice. You know? Right. England. Playing for England on the nineteenth and you went over to India. What was the matches like, you know? You got a lot of the culture and stuff like that. That was a great experience, but not too many Burmedians can say that they actually play international cricket. In India, arguably one of the best countries when it comes to competitive cricket. Yeah, it was like, you know, the morning of matches was it was something that was special. Like, you know, I never already had those that feeling before. Well, obviously, you know, to get my, my England cap was, you know, something, something I will forget for the rest of my life. Right. Um, so yeah, it was just, you know, it was just nice, you know, there weren't too many people there, so, you know, we couldn't really say you experienced the crowds, but, you know, it was just, it was just a different feeling that, you know, I can't really put into words, just, you know. You hit a century. Go out there, yeah, the, that was the, <clears throat> you know, the night before you always dream of, you know, doing well, you know, scoring runs, taking wickets, but, you know, I had a feeling I'd do well, but I didn't think it would go that well for me, okay. to be honest, so, you know, blessed that it, that it did go that well for me, and, you know, he carried it on throughout this series, really. What's it like when you're getting close to the century, when you're at 95 runs? Do you have in your head, like, don't get out now, just just focus, and after you scored 100 runs, does it sort of relieve you now you could just sort of open up? Is that like a milestone for you in your head when you're close to 100? Yeah, definitely a milestone, but I mean, I didn't really know I was in the 90s until I was on 98. Okay. You know, because they didn't really have the scoreboard that showed your individual score. Mm -hmm. I'm, um, and then a ball, you know, went, went pretty far and the, the 12th man came on and said, you know, do you want to know how much you want? And I was like, yeah. 
and he said 98, and I was like, well, don't change nothing really, you know, there's a lot of singles around, so it's just like, you know, there's no pressure really, I know I'll get the two runs. Yeah. Managed to get them in the second last over, and then, like you said, just once I got to 100, it was, the last over was always, I was always going to swing, so mm -hmm. I managed to get a couple of boundaries away, so pushed it to 107. And that was your, you know, first time playing with, with that team, right? How was well, it like coming together? Well, we, we sort of had, you know, camps throughout um, um, from like October 1, September 1. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Dubai together for three weeks. So, okay. you know, we sort of had a little bit of chemistry in that, but definitely, uh, you know, a lot more to build on that tour. And it showed in that game that we had built a lot more. Right. Because, you know, the victory that we pulled off was unreal, you know, it was yeah. a good day. And like they said, some, it was one of three, did three victories or something in India against India. So, wow. you know, another milestone for us as a team collectively. Yeah. So, you know, we took that on, on, on board. And, uh, unfortunately, the series didn't go how we wanted it to go, but it's a good learning curve for all of us, really. So. And it must have been, you know, your family and everyone here in Bermuda trying to follow the game. Yeah. But it was on the opposite side of the world, so, you know, whether it was nighttime here, it was daytime there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of late nights for family? Yeah, a lot of late nights, you know. I, I, was told, I talked to my daddy the night before the game over there. Mm -hmm. I just say, you know, I'll be watching tomorrow morning about two tonight, you know, where he were <laughs> yeah. back home and all that. So, you know, it was all it was also good that, you know, everybody was following and, and you know, I tried to retweet quite a lot of stuff on Twitter and stuff to, you know, keep so many so many people back here in the loop, like sort of thing. Yeah. But, you know, it's nice to have the support of the country and I'm um, you know, just hoping to carry it on really throughout the season and keep yeah. going and doing big things. Speaking of social media, you follow bar memes. So you're active on social media, we, you know, follow your Twitter and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How good yeah. is that being, you know, anywhere in the world and being able to sort of let people know what you're up to? Yeah, it's just nice, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy how it works. So, that, you know, you can, I can be in India, you can be in Bermuda and you can still have that quick communication type right. of thing, you know, so. But I know it's a good, you know, it's a good, good way to breach things, good way to bridge things, sorry, and, you know. And see what guys, you guys, and brand memes are doing, and it looks cool. You know, it looks positive and something positive for for people to look at when they right. go on social media. You know, so yeah, big things too. We're happy to cover everything that's that's positive, and you know, you're doing great things. Um, at 19 years old, still a long career ahead. You're going into your first season with Sussex, so you got signed to them for one year. Yeah, I can imagine that your, you know, your your next sort of. You know, thing that you're thinking about is, is training with them and getting ready for a season. For real, yeah, I just, you know. As soon as I get back, it's, it's straight into, you know, the preseason side of things and all that. And then, you know, hopefully a few, get my opportunity in a few preseason games to showcase my skills again and hopefully do what I will learn, you know, go, go to get a first class debut or some sort of, you know, so. Just looking, you know, a first class debut could come against Kamal Leverock too, you know, because we play as uni, so. Mm -hmm. Could be playing against you know a good friend of mine there, and you know hopefully hopefully it happens. And, right. You know it'd be a good battle, but you know, yeah, just looking to do well this year, and again have the backing of the country. And, you know, you know the support's been great so far, so just keep going. Really. Right. And you're a left left-handed bowler, left-handed batsman. Yeah, left-hand all all round. You know, my dad is left-hand all round, so you know from watching him from young, you know, you just want to copy those sorts of right. things. And, yeah, you know, used to t take his girl when I was little, so that always helped me be a left-hander. So yeah, yeah. always be left-handed. Yeah. Cool. And to a young person that might be watching this, um, what does it take? What would you say to get to do the things that you're doing? You know, a lot of sacrifice. You know, I left the country at 14. That was a big sacrifice, not only for yeah. me but for my family. You know, mm -hmm. leaving so young. And also, like, missing things I can't mention, or whole, whole summers in Bermuda was a, a massive sacrifice, you know? Right. Um, and just, you know, hard work. Just, you know, make sure you're doing hard work in school. I had to do my school work still, um, mm -hmm. which allowed me to play cricket on the weekends. And also, sometimes my school used to let me out on the week, you know, because right. I was doing my school work. So, it's always a cliche type of thing, but, you know, it's also, you know, it's, 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 it's the truth. Hard it's work. real life. And also hard work, you know, in the gym, when you're training, you know, just being switched on when you're doing those sorts of things. Right. People always say it hurt, but you never know who's watching and You know, those sorts of things come, are really true. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially in the environment over there in England, you know, it's, yeah. 
like, you know, I, I never really knew who was watching and, you know, turned a few English heads and got the opportunity. I know it's looking looking a little bit better for me, so, you know, it's just, just yeah, just keep working hard, really. You're 19, so still a teenager. A lot of teenagers right now are still trying to find themselves. You, you have friends that are, you know, of different influences, and sometimes it's not an influence that says, you know, do something positive, follow your dream. You know, it's, it's, it's like yeah, bro. I mean, luckily all my all my boys really that I grew up with, uh, we played football together and cricket. You mm -hmm. know, it's, a lot of us went to went to the same school and actually played on the same football team and you know those sorts of things and played cricket together. So all of them really you know been supporting me like so it's you know all of them's been a positive influence on me. But yeah, it's just. They're trying to take that 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 encouragement from them and, and and keep keep using that motivation really to keep doing well. Right, and cricket is a lot of you know while you're young you you have a lot of um, years where you are in your prime physically, right. but it's also a mental game you know where you're getting a lot of experience at a young age. Yeah, the mental game was something I had to work on a mm -hmm. lot. Um, you never really you don't really realize. How big of an influence it is until you get in, you know. Until I got in that professional environment, mm -hmm. and, you know, you're training a lot, you're playing a lot. You don't really realize how, how much you need it. Right. And I needed to improve mine, you know, quite a lot actually. And the work that I done on it, it definitely helped me in India. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot more work went on to in India as well. While I was doing well, I was still, you know, we had psychologists out there. Who, me and him got on really well, and you know, just we had to do. I had still done a lot of work on it there, and even in the summer, you know, I, I was still stay in contact with him, and we we'll still do more work on it, you know, because I'm not a finished product yet. Yeah. So you know, that's that was the mental side of the game is massive. That was massive for me, and I imagine for quite a lot of people too. Yeah. Any cricketers locally and internationally that you've looked up to over the years? Locally, you know, I said this the other day would have been people like Janeiro. It's the cop match. Mr. You know. He, when I was in India, you know, we were talking a lot. You know, was, you know, obviously, I played with him a little bit in the national team, you know, something like that, somebody I looked up to, you know, so he would have been one. Lionel Kerr, um, you know, he's, again, another cup match, you know, Bermuda Great. Slogo, another cup match in Bermuda Great. Now, you know, speak with him a little bit, but, you know, about, about the burden side of things, but, you know, the, I want to speak with him a little bit more. And also D and minus, you know, a lot of people already know that, but left-handed like me, you know, likes to be a be a bit aggressive. But you know, he was a big influence on my cricket when I was younger. You know, right. used to watch him and didn't really say much to people about him or to him. But you know, he was a he was a pretty big influence. And even my boy Kamal Lavrock, you know, is not much older than me. Mm -hmm. um, um, but definitely, you know, I used to live with him actually in England for a little while and spent a lot of time here. With right. each other, you know, so he has a big influence on me too. And internationally, it would have been people like Brian Laura, you know, Ben Stokes now, and those sorts of people, you know, yeah. people that are. Ben Stokes is particularly aggressive, you know, so my, so my type of player, I really I like to watch him work. So, yeah, those sort of people. Are. Ten years from now, what are we going to be saying about you? You know, hopefully, it's a, what a great England player he is, you know. Mm -hmm. um, um, Ten years from now, I'll be 29, and hopefully, I'll be in the in, in the prime of my game, ready. Um, yeah. um, and hopefully, I'll be like I said, just I want a great England player. I'll look what he's doing for for England, ready. Mm -hmm. um, um, that's the aim, and you know that's what I'm just gonna keep pushing to until hopefully that call comes. Okay. I'm not really gonna stop, and I don't think there's too much in my way that's gonna stop me. You know. All right. And any more cup matches for you? In your lifetime, you maybe, see this coming back to Bermuda, maybe, and playing a couple more afterwards. Maybe after, yeah. yeah. Maybe after. Hopefully, I have enough left in the tank to to come back and play. You know, it'd be something I I like to do. You know, obviously, it's a massive culture thing. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, once once it's done, hopefully, the long career over there. Once it's done and dusted, you know, come back here and you know maybe do do a, do a bit of coaching stuff as well. And, Play a better cup match, you know. Have a look. So. All right. So back to your social media. How can people follow you? I'm on Twitter. Right. Is that like your most Twitter. mostly active on Twitter? Or? Twitter will probably be no. I'm on Instagram. Will probably be the most active. Okay. Um, my Twitter's Dal Raw 09. Mm -hmm. I'm on my Instagram's D Raw Lens 09. Um, and then I'm also you know on Snapchat and those sorts of things, right. Facebook. So 
on Instagram and Twitter will be the most active, yeah, definitely. Okay, and when people holler at you and stuff, are you, you know, uh, do you have enough time to answer them? <laughs> I have a lot of time, actually. Okay. You know, you don't, we don't train. We train a lot, but not we train every day, but not a lot every day. You know, so I have I actually have a lot of free time. Most of the time, I find myself like, what am I gonna do? You know? Okay. So I do have a lot of time to answer people, and you know, I try to I try to you know the professional career career. I don't want it to change me at the moment. You know, I'm right. still a human being, mm -hmm. and I want it to remain that way. You know, I don't want people to treat me differently, really. So okay. All my friends are still my friends, and hopefully, they will still be my friends. And you know, family still family. So all right, well, everyone watching. Make sure you send Delray some support and he will answer. <laughs> yeah. And um, all the best, man. You got uh, a bright future. You're getting ready to start up in Sussex and you're doing big things. We're proud of you here watching all the way from the little island of Bermuda. Do people ask you a lot about Bermuda when you're, you know, traveling? Probably more about the Bermuda Triangle. Okay. As soon as I say Bermuda, but yeah, you know, a lot of questions about Bermuda. I tell people, you know, there's a, there's a lovely place to go and visit, definitely. You know, the pink sand and the clear water and all that sort of stuff attracts people. So. All right. Enjoy the rest of your time with your Thank family you. and friends, man. Thank Thanks for coming it. and hollering us. No problem. Cool.